a ladies, sweet tooth, emotional, and horny at the same time. What the fuck that mean? What that mean? Y'all know what that mean? That mean I'm about to be inconvenienced. Inconvenienced. Child. That mean your period about to come on. Shit. I would like to get to know a thought to be The kind of girl that you could be down for Cause when I look at you I feel some thought Tell me That you're the kind of guy that should make a move on And if I don't let you know Then I won't be forced I could be wrong but I feel like something could be going on I could be wrong but I feel like something could be going on There ain't no other thought Me, it's only you I wanna be wrong but I feel like impromptu and y'all loved it like that's the most views that i have received on a video um period period um now i i'm saying it wrong that's the most views that i have received on a video in such a short time period now i've had a video that i posted with a haul before and i got over five thousand views now that was pretty cool but it took about almost six months for that to get to that point maybe six months or more but this particular video literally overnight i had got over 200 and something views and that was pretty cool for me and then i had received more subscribers more subscribers also means more people that i can influence on my brand and who i am so um if i'm selling something if i'm um putting out some type of inspiration in some type of way more people follow period so um this was one of the little pieces that I picked up. It was only $10, honey. Y'all know Rainbow is a quick go-to when you want to do something super fun and super cute. And I love this little piece. It's super comfy. What I will say, I'm not in love with the print on print because it's giving me like pajama type of vibes. But like I said, when I promoted it, I said this would be good for like lounge wear and running errands. And that's just what I'm going to be doing today. I'm supposed to be going to my aunt's house. She's older. She's an older aunt. And she's basically going through different changes with her health and with aging and stuff like that. So she needs some help. So um, we're going over there. I'm going to be doing some of her laundry um while my grandmother is going to be helping her um sort her medications and things of that nature so um no i don't necessarily think that i'm a shoe in for stuff like this because my aunt likes to do things her way she's very set in her ways and trying to convince her that um this isn't working well for you or um like like prime example i'm coming over to help you she doesn't see the the sense in me coming over to help her so I'm like whatever so this has been a couple days like pulling teeth and i'm finally getting to her and even in now i'm waiting to the last minute like i was going to go by myself but my grandmother's like she wanted to go so that's going to be what do they call that that's going to be even more difficult because she's going to have her say in it too and it's something something as simple as laundry so really quick i'm going to spruce up so when i get back i can just relax i have something super huge happening tomorrow um playfully it all works out so i'm just going to prepare myself to relax so i can focus on the tasks that i have to do tomorrow so that's why it's important that i get back super fast 
We're gonna grab something, a little bite to eat while we're in here. Something quick. I don't care if it's Dunkin' Donuts or what. I really don't wanna be bothered because, child, let me tell you. You ever get so pissed off that you start to look at the science of the situation? You start to say, hey, I'm starting to realize that you've been pissing me off all my fucking life. And that's a lot of shit that be going on in my head. <laughs> that I remember where the shit started now. I done became my own psychologist. I remember now. You've been pissing me off since 1999. <laughs> yes. So that's what's going on right now. So if I seem a little aggy, that is it. Shot glasses. I had some company the other night. Very interesting. If you want to know the hotels, child. I got stories for days for hotels. But the only thing is, I don't know who watched this channel. And a lot of guys be watching this channel because they perverts. Because they perverts. They don't watch it for the purpose of what it's supposed to be watched for. <laughs> but, um, oh yeah, I did my nails. These are real acrylic, y'all. This is real acrylic. And I've just been trying it out. The shape isn't the best. But y'all know I love color. Y'all know I love long nails. But the fact that I'm just learning how to do these acrylics, um, I really, I'm, I haven't mastered the length, the shaping and stuff like that. So I wound up cutting them down really, really short because I messed them up. And they came out kind of cute, colorful. I like it. <laughs> So right now I'm just about to wash my dishes and get some stuff together. Like I said, I'm waiting on my grandmother, so she drives. She drives okay. I'm not gonna say she drives slow, but um, she takes the route that she wants to take. If that, if that makes any sense. So. I don't know if my aunt ate. Let me call her and see if she ate something. Take her son to eat. Okay. So, changing plans. <sighs> changing plans. So, my aunt has a doctor's appointment. I guess she forgot and then remembered at the last minute. So now I'm literally waiting by the door, about to leave out, and it's not gonna happen. I'm already dressed, so I said I'll run to the market. I've been having a taste for a salad, so maybe pick up some lettuce and I don't know, something. Something good, um, come back and I don't even know. in the car and who do I see when I'm riding here to the left after she done avoided me.
try and bake in the house. Honey, let me tell you. It was so funny how <laughs> I had intentions on going to Rolls because I'm looking for some sheets for my bed. And I'm like, oh, look at my grandmother. But I did wind up getting some stuff from the market. And my grandmother paid for it for me. Ain't that sweet? I'm like, oh, let me find out you love me. I only got a couple things. I bought some juice this time, some actual juice. I know I normally do Mia, but I've been noticing I'm lightheaded and I think I need a little bit of sugar, not a lot. I did get my two good and this ain't gonna be no haul, but I got my white peach tea, seafood salad, Sushi roll with the rice wraps. Delicious. Salmon, y'all know I love my salmon. Shrimp. I found that getting the bag of shrimp, cooking it up, and it cooked down to this size anyway, it's completely pointless. Why not get one of these trays? Why not? Um, finally got me some bread. I haven't had bread in a long time, but I got the 647 low carb bread. I do eat tortilla chips with hummus, guacamole, whatever. Granola bars. I love my sweet honey granola. Plain sweet honey granola with this here, baby, baby, baby. Now, I got this. Mushroom and cheese, veggie burgers. Some good old eggs. That just egg mix was getting on my nerves. Got me some eggs. And what I went to the market for, cause I got some bomb egg salad dressing I wanna try. Um, what else I get? <laughs> some wine. Some sangria, so this got a little bit of sugar in it too. So I pray that it's sweet, sweet. I need a little bit of sugar, not a lot. So yep, yeah, that's it. So I just got the the rolls with the vegetable and crab and a little bit of crab salad yes yes all right so i am down center city just got finished taking a crazy exam so walking down to you <laughs> and i'm going to grab something to eat I don't know if I want to get something. From, I don't know if I want to get something from the Red and Terminal or what. But I am hungry. I haven't been out in a while down to the city, so kind of excited about that you know let's do a little margarita or something and chilies i haven't been to this chilies in a while but when i say what i say it was crazy Taking that test. <laughs> we'll talk about it once I get in the house.
These people in this area are suspect. They're like my purse is about to get snatched. Just do your eight and skate. Just do your eight and skate. So I am back <sighs> and I'm tired. <laughs> All hot. <sighs> I am tired. But I did go to, damn, I can't, the Redding Terminal. I almost forgot. It's called Redding Terminal. Yes. So I checked out their little produce. Produce. Aloe vera. This is for my natural hair. Y'all know I'm on that natural journey, trying to get my hair as close to normal as possible. It's never gonna be the same. I used to have super long hair. Y'all know the story. I think as kids we all had super long, healthy hair. Um but aloe vera works pretty good in my hair, um, among a couple other natural things. So this stalk, stalk, stalk of aloe vera should last, should last for a little bit. It starts to kind of rot. So honestly, I pray it lasts up to two weeks, but you never know. I used to have a plant and it fell and broke and it started to die. But um, yeah, they sell these at the market too. But I got me a stalk. <sighs> a lemon. 
She said I had to spend $5 in order to use my card. So I started picking up the most random shit. So I'm gonna slice this down and drink it in my water. What else did I get? Grapes. This is the only thing I really wanted, but of course, these were $2 for all these grapes. Y'all know when y'all go to the market, um, grapes are really expensive. It's a couple brown ones, more than a couple, maybe a small handful, but all in all, this is a big thing of grapes for only $1.99, $2. And I got something I wasn't supposed to get, but I love their cookies. Fourth Street um, Famous Cookies is so good. So, I'm not going to eat both. Oh my God, they're so soft. I should have ate them while they was warm. I love macadamia nut. If you ever want to get me a cookie, get me macadamia nut. But I did get one chocolate. Because I wanted to see how their chocolates were. Let me taste this. I'm only going to eat a piece. They're good. As usual. <laughs> so. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so what I'm going to do. I'm going to put their stuff up. I'm going to take a little nap. I did the same thing yesterday. I got tired early. And I took a nap. Yesterday I, I went to sleep back around 7 p.m. I woke back up around 11 and then didn't go back to sleep until 7 a.m. and woke back up around, that's odd, around 11 o'clock. Um, but I thought, like, well, what had you going downtown? Because people normally don't go into Center City. I went into Center City because I had a semi job interview which required some testing. Remember one of my rants, I was talking about how these jobs put you through so much. My homegirl, she just made a prime example. When I was at lunch, I was talking to her. She was like, um, they be talking about immediate hire, hire immediately, and it take you three, four months to get in. On a period, you, you've said a mouthful, sis, because <clears throat> that's exactly what just happened. Um, apply for a job. The application process wasn't bad for this particular job, but the testing is extreme. Like, I literally had to study for this test. They give you, um, it's not like aptitude test. I want to say it's more like um, definitely knowledge. They want to know where your head is at, whatever the case is. Um, but it's a, a serious testing. So it was math. It was reading. Um, I wouldn't say basic math. I feel like it's more so close to, well, it's, it's, it's basic algebra and fractions and factor factoring time and ratio and things of that bullshit. Child, never was good at math that much to where I can say, oh, I remember all that shit outside of class can't say that this shirt is this shirt has been getting on my nerves all day but never could say oh um yeah i remember all that shit that i learned baby like when i say irritated irritated <clears throat> so i passed the reading portion The math, not so much. And when I say I study, let me tell you something. I have gave myself all of these test questions at ringing the <laughs> back end part. Okay. Oh my God, like testing and stuff like that like what the fuck and still didn't pass this shit so i have to go back and take it again and that's a process so 
that is the process of looking for a job here in the city. It's, it's like they say, oh, we're hiring, we're hiring, we're hiring. But it takes months and months and months to get on. So, about to take me a nap. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have ate it when it was warm. It would have been so much better. I'm gonna put this one up for later. Lately, I've been having a sweet tooth. I've been having a sweet tooth and I've been emotional. And horny at the same time. Oh, ladies. Sweet tooth. Emotional. And horny at the same time. What the fuck that mean? What that mean? Y'all know what that mean? That mean I'm about to be inconvenienced. Inconvenienced. Child. That mean your period about to come on. She. Irking. That bitch. My menstrual. Let me tell you something. She's so funny aching. But one thing I can say about menstrual for all women. They just like a bill. Come around too soon and take too much out of you. Too fucking much. Oh, huh? Oh. Oh my god. Damn, that's the good. It melts right in your mouth. That, that should not be melting in my mouth right there. So let me know if this is going on in your hometown. Are they charging for plastic bags everywhere? Do you have to tote around these damn, um, you know, reusable bags, child? And then only to go in a store that just didn't give a fuck about the memo and they give you a brown bag and a plastic. I'm confused. I've been paying for bags all fucking week. And here you go. You gave me a bag. Well, well, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I don't know whether to keep it or put it in a frame because I, they, I don't know how long they're going to keep this shit up charging for bags. One thing. I don't know who told y'all who signed the petition. Who signed the petition? Because I know I didn't. Y'all ain't asked me if this is okay for us to not have bags at, at the normal child, at the normal motherfucking capacity. Y'all be cutting shit off. Whatever happens to sign a paper and see who who's down with the bullshit. Because I would have said I'm not. Because it's not every day that I keep a damn loose bag in my purse. Do I look like a person that carry around a loose bag in my purse? <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Also, I wanted to check with y'all to see, are y'all using y'all Fetch app? A couple times I have posted on my social media and even on this channel about this here Fetch app. Now, I really want to know, are y'all using it? So, with the Fetch app, you gather your receipts. I spent a good amount of money today that I didn't need to spend on food, and which I hate even more. I hate wasting money because I have groceries at home. But um, what you do, I'm going to insert the link again for you to download the Fetch app and you scan your receipts scan them scan them all it doesn't matter where you shop there or whatever don't even matter if you went to the atm as far as i understand you scan your receipts so today and all I spent a couple of dollars but i didn't spend much on you know just eating out i spent about maybe from what i see four dollars on the cookies then i had lunch which was twenty dollars and the produce was like five dollars so i didn't spend no more than about thirty dollars or so yeah 
I was a little under $30. So what you do, you scan your receipts and they give you points. The points you can add up to a gift card. I'm not going to keep breaking it down to y'all because y'all are going to be the ones that miss out if you don't download this app. They really do give you gift cards and they also give you cash gift cards. The code that I am giving you is going to start you off with more points than if you just go ahead and download it yourself. You go ahead and download it yourself and, and feel like you're not supporting what I'm telling you or giving me a little boost on the on the app go ahead do it on your own but it starts you from zero but if you do it with what i'm giving you it starts you with more points and it's closer to getting you a gift card i don't know what type of crunch you are in if you're in a crunch at all or where you like to spend your money but i know i just cashed a five dollar gift card i used it towards my cell phone bill which is outrageous but i actually you know i paid off my bill and i put five dollars on it with the card because i'm like i actually want to use it towards stuff that i need i don't necessarily need to shop more i just need to pay some stuff down so although although it's just five dollars that's five dollars that i kept in my pocket because i just used one of the gift cards that i got from the fetch app so scan your receipts <laughs> period um what else did i want to tell you all <laughs> that's it so I'm actually about to scan my receipts real quick and just chill out, take a nap, and I'll check with y'all later. Hey y'all, hey. So it is midnight and I am snacking on some of these grapes. Some of them were sweet and some of them were not. But at the end of the day, I'm closing out this vlog. Um, I wanted to try to practice on getting you guys out more as far as watching my vlogs just so I can inspire y'all to be healthy mentally and get outdoors and have a good time. Do something, you know, something. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I am watching watching one of my new favorite shows it's called chasing dollars it is part of the elite lgbtq community in dollars i love watching them it's very satisfying as far as me being a reality tv lover this is reese g one of their producers and also characters in all aspects honey <laughs> but i actually like him at the end of the day, uh, we are walking into Scorpio season and also Halloween is this weekend. So be responsible, be safe, remember Lyft, Uber, and etc. But 11-4 is coming up, baby, and that is my birthday. So stay tuned for that vlog. It will post next weekend. I love y'all so, so much. And once again, thank you for the support and all of the follows and views. Stay tuned because I got some amazing things for y'all. I got so many things prepared so i love y'all and until next time